Hello everyone and welcome back to for some more Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I'm still super busy with work and I'm still playing this. So let's continue on from where I was last time. I was going to talk to Turtle. I didn't mean to jump on you like that, Turtle. <laughs> Yo! It's going on to you. You seem pretty beat. Yes. Hmm. Oh. Something's up. Are you hiding something, Turtle? Um. Oh. <laughs> Dang damn it, he went and hid my buggy. <laughs> it's Master Roshi's voice. I don't know what he's talking about. Turtle hiding the porn once again. He's gone. Greetings. Oh hey Goku, have you seen the blasted hey. turtle? Tortoise? Yeah, he ran huh? off somewhere. Tortoise? Are you seriously still calling him that? You know that's not his name, right? <laughs> but never mind that. What about my book? Don't. That pain in the butt hid my book somewhere. What kind of book is it? Is it really that special? Of course it's special. It's my most prized possession. If I if I don't have it, then I... I... <laughs> yeah, let's go find Master Roshi's prized possession. Oh, it's really that important to you. I guess I could help you find it. Greetings. Really? That's a mighty kind of you, Goku. Yeah. So what kind of book is it? It's, um, <laughs> a swimsuit uh, photography collection. <sighs> Man, you haven't changed a bit, have you, Master Roshi? I'll search the attic, you look outside. Yeah. You got it. Oh, Master Roshi. All right. What should I do now? <laughs> look for the pornography, Goku. Yeah. Oh, I know who to talk to. Son. Maybe Fat now. It's gonna be Bulma. Bulma looks really nice, by the way. Bulma looks good in almost any outfit, but her Miami Vice outfit what? looking real nice. You mean that geezer's filthy book? Like, I would know. Well, uh, then you know where I can find Tortoise. <sighs> if you're looking for a uh, turtle, I saw him heading toward the back of the house. Talk to Turtle. <laughs> turtle, please. Turtle, please. He's an old hey. man. Give him what he wants. Hey, Tortoise, where'd you hide it? Oh, it's a turtle, Goku. You should know that by now. I'm sorry, but I can't tell you where the book is. Mm. Master Roshi's read enough of that thing. He needs to learn some self-control. That's why it belongs to the, in the ground. The ground? Wait, he's buried it somewhere? Um, yeah, that is the implication here. To be fair, that's where you find most porn magazines is in the... Buried under <laughs> underground. Here it is. You found the girly book. Yo. They found your book, Master Roshi. <laughs> ah, you found it. You're the best, Goku. Yep. And he goes off to feverishly masturbate. I knew I was right to take you as my student. I'm counting on you to help me find the troublesome turtle hides us again. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Story complete. <laughs> That's the face of a man who does not have the internet and is happy to have his porn book back. Yeah. I'm feeling pretty cool. Yeah. Looks like that did the trick. Did I How do I get to that menu? I think it's under community, community board. Oh, nope. nope. Yeah, you power this come up? No. Alright, screw it. Let's continue on the story. Talk to the Krillin. What's up? Hey Goku, I know Master Rush was talking about it before, but you know training's pretty important, huh? Can't let all the strength I've gained go to waste, so I'm planning on getting back into a serious routine. Right. So what you're saying is you wanna fight me. Huh? You? <laughs> Maybe some other time. <laughs> I'm gonna focus on some mental stimulation training first. Mental stimulation training? Oh, you mean where you do it in your head? You should try it sometime when you get a chance. You receive the D medal from Krillin. What's this? It's your D. <laughs> you should call it a training keepsake. Oh, okay. Yeah. Great thing about mental stimulation training is that you can do it anywhere you want. <laughs> like this beach, All for right. example. Here we go. Alright, I'm gonna give it a try then. 
Training grounds has been unlocked. <laughs> Okay, sure. I will learn consecutive blasting or whatever. Ow. Uh, you can start guarding it right away. Okay. Just, oh. I tried dodging that real quick. Oh god. Go fight. I like how the game is continuously reminding me, hey stupid, you can guard. Easy stuff. All right. That should be enough training for now. Maybe I'll talk with the guys just a bit longer. Okay. So yeah, there's not much to do on this tiny looks, island. But does he have your power too? Talking about. I'm betting that he's pretty strong if I had to guess. But I can't be sure since Chi Chi won't let me train him to find out one way or the other. He is like three. Yes. Hey, Dad? What was that? Hmm. Not sure. It was really a trip going back to this style of game where it's like there was a brief couple years there where like every Dragon Ball game had you start and refighting the Raditz fight. And I guess after Fighters in Xenoverse, you don't oh know Xenoverse had the start of Raditz. Like Xenoverse 2 starts with Raditz fight. I don't think I've had a early game go fight Raditz and die. Oh, farm with a shotgun. Everyone's favorite extended character from the Dragon Ball lore. Thank you, Team Four Star. You're doing the Lord's work. Or you did the Lord's work. Now you stopped before you did Majin Buu because fuck Toei. Which I respect. Just as I thought, the creatures on this planet are still alive. Kakarot's failed us. Ugh. Who or what are you? A power level of only five? What trash. Stay back! Don't underestimate the farmer with a shotgun. Never mind. Is it sad that people remember the probably more the farmer with a shotgun than they do Raditz? Well now, here's I think the it's pretty sad. Reading. Distance 4880. Honestly, instead of wasting a slot Kakarot. on fighters for Raditz, they should just give it to Farmer with a shotgun. If they're gonna give it to a joke character. Yeah, and I'll say it right now, Raditz is unfortunately a joke character. Because he never gets seen again. He's the only villain in <laughs> Dragon Ball history that never comes back in some way. Never felt a power like this. Even the Red Red Moon Army technically comes back. Mercenary Tao has come back. Oh, I'm Piccolo. By pressing LB on the field. Not sure right. what this is, but I better check it out. 
Oh, this first person view. Let me start by getting some of this. It isn't Goku. Well now, this could be I'll make quick work of you. What? Oh, it's the skull robo. Piccolo taking time off of his very busy schedule to beat the shit out of the pirate robot real quick. But if it isn't him, then who is it? Well now, this could be fun. Guess I'd better look for more. I'm ready whenever you are. Let's do this. Is this just Piccolo's day-to-day -day life? Is that he wakes up, fights a bunch of leftover flying robots from the Red Ribbon Army. I actually don't think that these are Red Ribbon Army robots, let me take that back. Because we're in that Pirate Cove. But now that I think about it, I don't think the, the Red Ribbon Army owned the Pirate Cove. I think it was just guarding treasure. Where the hell could he be? There we go. Yeah, maybe my day. Ooh, is that launch? Someone come and fucking are. fight me? Let's do, this. do you want a fucking piece of me, fool? Because I will gladly beat the shit out of you. I am Piccolo, I am not Goku. Oh shit. Ow. Okay, yeah. So that's all, huh? This power. Unlike anything I've ever felt before. Like I know. I know there's something possibly dangerous going on, but I need to well, talk now, to launch. This could be fun. I'm just not gonna. Let me just talk to him. What do you want? Any of the greatest of moves right now? Make one wrong turn, I end up driving my damn car and all the treasure I stole off a cliff. Really screwed up this time. Can I get that treasure? My correct assessment of it'd be easier to fall than to fly down. Whoa, this power is amazing. Get that. Pick that up. Ooh, I got some fancy earrings. Okay. Oh, God. There we go. I'll make quick work of you. Why are you here? All right. I was probably too far away from actually do anything to it. Just in case it was thinking before it died that it could potentially beat Goku. That Goku, Piccolo. Well now, this could be fun. Yeah, there we go. What's going on? I should put on those earrings. So it puts me right up. So it wasn't Kakarot after all. Who the hell are you? I don't have time to waste with you. Wait a minute. This is a Namekian, isn't it? What the hell is a Namekian doing on this planet? Good question. If that's true, then what are you even doing here? You got a death wish? <laughs> You've got spunk. I like that. Don't say it like that. Hmm. A power level of 322, huh? You're definitely stronger than the others. But you wouldn't even be a warm-up for me. You're making a mistake in underestimating me. This is gonna be the start of. Let's see if you can make this fun for me. Just yeah, easy. Oh man, he's on five. 
He is much stronger than me. I should stop trying to do it. Do I have any supports? I, I like how I keep saying like I want to stop trying that move and I still try it again. Okay. Okay, thank god. I was to say I was not long for this world if this kept up. to show you what real power looks like. <laughs> I'm getting another large power reading. That's got to be Kakarot. Make a little <laughs> devastator right now. Im impossible. Who the hell is this guy? And where is he going? It's very fun just sitting here on an island with friends. Nothing bad ever happens. <laughs> well, if it isn't Kakarot, you've grown. Look at Krillin me and Muggin Reddits right, right now. like our old man. What? Tell me, Kakarot. What is this? You were supposed to exterminate all life on this planet. What have you been doing all this time? Stuff. My who are wife. you? And who's Kakarot? Should I know who that is? You've got to be kidding me. You don't remember. Fine then. Allow me to refresh your memory. You're not from this filthy planet. You were born on planet Vegeta. You're a member of the proud and mighty warrior race, the Saiyans. And the, that's the, the not Saiyans are rising. I'm your older brother, Raditz. You're lying! That can't be true! Long ago, you were sent to this pathetic planet to rid it of all life! We say and search the universe for habitable planets and wipe out all who live there so that we can sell those planets to the highest bidder. Weak, snot-nosed brats like you are sent to low-level planets, like this. And fortunately, it looks like this one's got a moon. Uh, if this guy's telling the truth, then these Saiyans are some real bad dudes. Wait, what about the moon? What does that have to do with anything? Don't play dumb with me. We Saiyans release our true power whenever there's a full moon. Even chumps like you should know that. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I think Krillin's right. You guys are the worst. My name's Son Goku, and I'm from Earth. Take your lies and get out of here. <laughs> well, I couldn't even if I wanted to. Because Planet Vegeta was blown to smithereens by a meteor. Almost all of our brethren 
been turned to space dust now. Ah. Including me and you. There are only four Saiyans. Wait, they thought it was a meteor this entire just time? Day, we found or maybe it's just random. I could have swore that Vegeta us. knows that Freeze is the No, maybe he didn't. I don't know. Maybe the, the Saiyans team. deserve to get blown up if they and actually thought there was a meteor big enough to take out an entire fucking planet. Kakarot. The planet is as good as ours if you join us. Never. Come on, Kakarot. Think of the fun we'll have. Isn't your Saiyan blood boiling with excitement? Just shut up! If you think I'm joining you, then you're dumber than you look! <laughs> huh. Fine. Be that way. That little runt with the tail behind you is your kid, right? I guess I'll just take him instead. Huh? Come any closer and I'll knock you sky high! Back off! <laughs> Oh, yeah? Well, go ahead if you think you can. Gohan's not going anywhere with you! What the hell's with this guy? Alright. Quickly You're beat up on rabbits for a bit. You're nothing to me! What's wrong? <laughs> you are nothing to me. Yeah, Savage man, saving save your brother. The you haven't seen so long. Why would you do that? Do you know what? This planet isn't half bad. I think it could serve as our next target. The three of us Saiyans should be able to rid this place of Funny boy. dead weight in just one month. Keep talking shit while you're in the ocean, Raditz. I fucking dare you. Don't worry, Kakarot. I'll make sure to take good care of the boy. If you want him back, then you better do as your big brother said. Don't even think about trying to be a hero. <laughs> no, no. Palma, you still got that dragon radar? Oh, I get it. That decoration on Gohan's hat was a dragon ball. All right, I'm off. It's now or never. And now we just left dead time. on your own. Oh shit, Piccolo. Piccolo! Neither of us has what it takes to face him head on. At least if we tried on our own. But together, if we were to team up, we just might be able to take him down. Yeah, you're probably right. But can I really trust you? What's your angle in all this? Don't get the wrong idea. It isn't that I care in the slightest about your little kid or the Earth. That fool is the only thing standing between me and world domination. The moment he and his cronies are out of the picture. I finally rid myself of you. Then the world will be mine for the taking. You're crazy if you think I'm about to let that happen. But for now, I guess we gotta join forces. Guess there's really no getting around that. Precisely. <gasps> Piccolo vs. Raditz, Goku vs. Raditz, total ass baby. You details. Aw oh, yeah. Got a bunch of story rewards too. Time to go. Hey! Wait, Goku, take this with you. You received the item. Vita drink. Huh? What's this? It's a quick acting recovery drink. If you're ever in a pinch, take a swig of it. <clears throat> okay, register palette. There we go. Thank you! Awesome, thanks, Bulma. <sighs> 
You better not die on me. Enough, yeah. let's go. Right? Okay, yeah, they got... Well, Piccolo can't ride the Flying Nimbus. That's fine. God, I wish I miss when Goku would fly on the Nimbus. Gosh, so badass Piccolo oh, and Goku teaming up to fight Raditz. Well, I'm gonna deal... Well, after progressing a certain point in the main story, you'll be again travel and fight alongside other characters. Oh, okay, assist actions. Oh, okay. Got you. I got it. But let me save for now. Yeah, I will beat Rats, I think, in the next episode, and that will be a good ender for the Kakarot while I'm busy with work arc that I'm on currently. So thank you very much for watching, especially if you watched it all the way to the end. I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next and probably final video. Goodbye.